All right, so as you can see, it's a Philip screwdriver. You remove this to remove the handle, All right? Put it aside, okay? You remove the handle. Now this, this is very old. It has a um, Allen wrench there that it holds it in place, but it's already rusted and gone. So I'm gonna try to remove it with my bare hands which you came out if you have problems then you you might use a uh, uh, pliers channel locks whatever to turn this and remove it all right so the next step is to remove this nut right here this is to change the cold water because it's the right one okay all right so i'm gonna get my channel locks you can use your any tools. Do you have any preference to use any tools? Go ahead. All right. So this, this is the way you take this. Take the nut off. Once you have that nut off, then you continue by removing the uh, valve itself. Sometimes it's a little bit tight. These things are old, all right. And we're gonna go ahead and remove it, all right. See, this is the old valve. They get damaged over there. So we're gonna go ahead and proceed and put the cold valve. There's a number for this. I found it on, uh, this is a special place called Fossil Parts in San Antonio. Now, we must not forget to put the gasket right in here, okay? And then we're going to proceed by screwing it. Okay. Tight. Tight to prevent leaks. This is where the gasket goes. And we're going to put this nut. All right. There you go. Now it's time to put the uh, hot water, which is the left, and it's basically the same as the cold water. So here it goes, the hot valve, hot water. Valve. All right, I'm going to put the gaskets. The screw. Bingo, we have the uh, new valve installed. We're gonna go ahead and proceed and install this in here. And we're gonna put the valve, the handle, real easy. Same thing on the other side. And 
we got it going. We're gonna close the valve. Okay. You're not able to see this right now, but Okay, now we got to turn the water on and see what's going on. All right, guys. Oh, so how do you know the water is off? Because if you match this hose, that's where the water puts the lock on it. That means it's closed. So I'm going to open it. That's open. That's closed. Open. That's full open. Just put this back on. Let's see how everything came out on the inside. Alright. And this is it. Rather water, no leaks. And okay. now it's smooth. Nice. Right. And ready to go. Okay. It takes a little bit to drain that, but this this still is is done. All right, guys, this is how you replace one of these old valves. It's not as hard as it, it seems. It's kind of simple. And see you on another edition of Tips for Dummies. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, because I'm gonna have some pretty awesome videos later on on how to fix things in your home.